life at large, but probably not the kind that you're thinking of. What you're about to see makes those therapy dogs and cats look like old school. That's because Tim rustled up something a lot bigger and hairier, spreading goodwill and comforting people, both young and old. As diplomats go, I truly believe that they are given a purpose more than just entertainment. This is Rojo. They're definitely different. His name is Napoleon, and the red one is Rojo, our llama. Big, hairy ambassadors with a special gift. I never realized the power animals have to bring healing and joy to people like this. And so there's a, a natural, unique response because they're a unique animal. I just want to love them. <laughs> touch after touch. <laughs> smile after smile. Kiss after kiss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Rojo the therapy llama and his alpaca friend light up every hall they glide down and every room they saunter into. Everywhere we go, they transform the environment of the places that we visit, and that, so that's been exciting. It's one of the darndest sights you'll ever lay eyes on, watching these guys work different floors of a hospital, and yet it melts your heart all at the same time. Oh, he's giving you kisses. Oh, he likes you. Such a quiet, gentle, peaceful soul. I, again, it, it's like he really knows how special he is and, and how special the, the kids are. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Both have a bedside manner about them, but Rojo is the old pro at making things all better. And I think Rojo has the sense of how special our kids are, and he loves them. Oh, he likes you. You got a llama kiss. He just brings such a smile to absolutely everybody that's there. So it's a very contagious spirit to have Rojo around because it, it's just so unusual. It, it's really cool. What do you think? Are you petting Rojo? Isn't he cute? He just grew up to be this amazing, huggable, lovable llama. And somebody at the fair came up to us and said, you should get him certified for therapy. He was surrounded by children hanging all over him. And that's how it all began for Lori Gregory. <laughs> owner of Mountain Peaks Therapy Llamas and Alpacas in Vancouver. She gets as much from sharing her dolled up, hairy, gentle giants as anybody they pop in on for a visit. So that's why I started giving me chills and that's when it kind of became an addiction, you know, when you really realize that they have this amazing ability to just create a natural response therapeutic-wise to get people to do things they wouldn't normally do. Yeah, you like their bracelets? Yes. I call that their bling. That's their bling. Who knew gussied up, fluffed up, four-legged, carrot-munching mammals could bring so much joy? <laughs> but they do. You know, everybody has their gifts that they're given, and I feel like our llamas are our gift to share with the community, with the world. Just another day's work, and a little hay takes care of the pay. Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.